everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Glowboy Gigi. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video from you guys. It's basically my full review and tutorial um, of a makeup look using only affordable makeup. Everything that's on my face is affordable and actually is like really good everyday brands. I'm gonna be using some CoverGirl, some Maybelline, you know, all that good stuff and also some high-end brands as well but that I make them affordable using some tips and tricks. If this is something you're interested in, just keep on watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down. So I wanted to do this video so to show you guys that you don't have to be buying expensive products to create a really nice um, look. You can sort of balance both. In my own personal collection, I do like to use a little bit of everything. My bank account isn't solely for Sephora. You know, I do like to just dab dabble in a little bit of everything and know how to use the best of each brand you have out there and the different types of affordable makeup that you can use and incorporate into your beauty routine. So to start and sort of prime my face, I'm going to be using the Sephora Super Matte Moisturizer. This mattifies and hydrates. This is really good for people who have like combo skin like I do. I usually have like really a lot of dryness around um, my cheeks, I find, and but really super oily around my T-zone. So this stuff is really good for that and it's affordable. If you haven't discovered the Sephora collection um, items, I'd highly recommend that you check them out. It's a really good, um, I find like they have really good high quality um, products. So I'm just going to take this moisturizer and sort of focus it on my T-zone. Um, just because that's where I want to mattify. And this is going to function also as my primer. And it doesn't even have, a, it's unscented which is great. I'm going to be mixing up some affordable makeup and some other like you know, so I, I guess higher end um, makeup, but it's also good to incorporate because I find it helps more uh, affordable makeup really last longer. Going in with some MAC Fix Plus, I'm just going to spray this on my face. This is also going to be like a primer, a priming spray. It's really good to prep and prime your skin. I love that. That just like... Whew totally hydrates, totally like just gets you ready. So MAC Fix Plus is really good to um, refresh it, one to prime your skin for makeup, but also to refresh your skin during the day. Depending, depending on how full coverage your, your foundation is, you might find it drier during the day or oily, either or. If you do get oily, I always pat down like my oily areas and then go back in with some Fix Plus. And this just helps, I don't know, it just has like this magical way of getting you from looking oily to dewy and like refreshed. So your skin just looks instantly refreshed. So it's really nice, I carry a little one in my purse. So this is holy grail right here. So now that I've um, prepped my skin, we use the moisturizer and the MAC Fix Plus, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in the shade M90. I'm also gonna be mixing in my Fit Me matte and poreless and the reason being is because I do know that I'm in, in between shades at the moment just because my skin is always one of those in between. I like mixing both of these. Um, one is that I find the cover girl is nice and full coverage but I also like the dewiness that I get from the Fit Me. So, um, sometimes I get way too oily with my Fit Me and I get too dry with the cover girl so I like to mix both. Um, so with the cover girl I have buff beige and these are both more of like for olive skin color. So I'm just going to take one pump of the um, CoverGirl Perfect Beige. Remember to always shake your foundation before you use it. I sort of didn't and realized it's a little bit watery at the top. I remember I did that with my Fenty Beauty and I didn't like... And then I read the bottle and it's like shake very well. So. So shake that up. So another good tip for those of you that love your Maybelline Fit Me is I bought like this sort of uh, adapted or um, sorry pump. Then I just got oh, I forgot where I got it. I feel like I got it from Amazon. It's a really nice little like it really converts your Maybelline into a nice pumpable foundation versus a pourable. I, I like a pump. So so we're gonna take a pump of the Maybelline Fit Me. Perfect. See, and I sort of mix it, the colors over there. So just taking my Sephora uh, beauty sponge and I'm just patting that in. 
So in terms of full coverage, because I've mixed, I've also lowered the coverage of the True Matte, so you won't really see, um, the coverage won't be as intense as it would have been, but I'm not a big fan of just full, full coverage. If you do want full, full coverage, I would recommend that you just not mix the foundation, then you just keep the CoverGirl uh, True Blend Matte on its own, um, because it's supposed to be a highly full coverage. Just for my purposes, I do like my freckles to somewhat show up, um, so I don't like too much full coverage. So I'm just gonna blend that in my eyelid as well. So the nice thing about this foundation that I find it does dry down really nicely, so like it's not left, your, your face is not left feeling like wet, which is really, really nice. Like I really like that. Um, I find with some other foundations my face is, is like when I'm using it, especially like my Fenty Hydrating one, um, which is obviously it's more hydrating, but my face is often left feeling like like I have to put powder on here. Like you could get away with just using the foundation and not um, not any powder on it. So that's nice. I really now that we've gone in, I think this is like a perfect match to be honest. I think mixing them really, I'm like you know totally even, which is great. So next, um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour, not too much. I'm the Rimmel London Duo Contour Sticks. So these are nice because they have a contour end and a highlighting end. So taking the um, Rimmel London Contour Stick, I am just going to contour my um, cheeks and my nose. my forehead a little bit and my chin so the beauty about these contours is that they're super blendable which I love I'm gonna take the highlighting stick or the highlighting end of the contour stick I'm just gonna rub it all over my and I'm gonna just take my sponge over here and sort of Put that on the high points and even though we're gonna I'm gonna go in with some concealer I still like to put a little bit of this highlighter underneath it just acts as a little inner glow I'm gonna go in with some concealer I'm gonna be using my Maybelline age rewind concealer this is a nice like I really enjoy it so if you guys haven't already tried this concealer I highly recommend it it's it doesn't crease it really helps brighten up your eye but not only that it also um, it's not dry. I'm using the shade light today. So I'll put some on my chin here. I like uh, brightening concealers. So if you if you do not like um, like ultra brightening, I would use maybe a shade closer to your skin tone. So maybe in, in, if you're on my my skin tone, I would use medium. And this is I would say a medium medium to buildable coverage um, concealer. So I do like to cover up some of my freckles. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just blend that out. And then we're gonna just to bronze up the face a little, um, bring back some bronzing. I'm gonna take again the contour stick. We did. We, we really highlighted here. Um, just the contour stick, the dark end, and sort of bring back that sort of contour we did earlier. We're nice and brightened up. I know it looks a little bit odd. So we are gonna set my face uh, with some setting powder. I'm using the Seat London um, Coconut Setting Powder. Just any setting powder. I would have used myself the Fit Me setting powder, but I actually ran out, so. And of course, it's taking forever to get here, so. Just using this one instead. But you can definitely use the Fit Me setting powder to get um, the same effect. For this foundation, I find the CoverGirl and the Fit Me as well. You don't need too much um, setting powder because the foundation does dry down to like a powder. Just taking the uh, opposite and my beauty sponge, putting that into the powder, and just using that just to sort of set my face. For my eyes, I'm just gonna take the um, tip of the beauty blender, sort of pat that, um, concealer that I put in earlier and then I'm going to take um, some of the setting powder and set my eyelids. I'm going to sort of uh, set my face again with some MAC Fix Plus. This is just going to allow all the powders and the foundation just to go bind together and like stay put. 
So moving on to the rest of my face. So we'll go back to the eyes, um, but just in terms of uh, just bronzing up my face. So another tip I'll give you guys when I'm trying to sort of um, not break the bank when buying makeup um, and keeping things affordable, I would say is try to look for mini sizes of makeup. Um, I honestly find, just because I go through a lot of makeup, but um, I find that sometimes buying a full size of any makeup product is a little bit excessive anyway. I actually often look for mini versions of products I like just because I know I'm not going to use it all. And if I do use it all, then that's great. Then I can buy a bigger version. But I like to try out mini versions first and then that way I can determine if I actually am, um, you know, if I'm hitting pan on those things. Because that way you sort of control how much you're buying and, and using products and buying things that you're actually gonna use. If you've ever seen the, you know, the Sephora collection or the mini size, the gift sizes, go ahead and, and check those out. Um, they're a nice way to try certain brands, but also to see, you know, make sure that you actually use them. Um, so I'm gonna be going in with the mini version of the Milk Chocolate Soleil. This is a light medium matte bronzer. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Alamar Cosmetics um, bronzer brush. This is like my version of like affordable makeup because you know, you could still have and you could still buy some nice high-end products, but you don't necessarily have to break the bank to do it. Taking some more of my Seat London um, translucent powder just to sort of bake my so same sort of concept um, this is an obviously not an affordable product but it is affordable for high-end I'm taking a mini version of the NARS orgasm uh, blush I've had this mini now for like I think I want to say three years um, when I first got it and I still haven't used it all. So that just goes to show you don't need to be buying like huge blushes and, and blushes, especially so those things that you don't use on a daily basis, like a lot of. So blush, you know, blush you just really pop on. Right? And this one has a nice little highlight to it, so it's really nice. And then some of my nose. And then you could just wipe away your excess um, um, baking powder. So now that we have the complexion done, we're gonna move on to our eyes. Going in with the same bronzer I used on my face, uh, just the Too Faced bronzer, and this is going to be sort of my transition color for my eyes. Um, just using one product for everything, why not? So this is a nice, this gives you like a nice little wash of color. Okay, so now that we have sort of like a the eyes with like a wash of color, I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. And really affordable and easy to use, I find, um, is the NYX uh, Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner. This is a really beautiful liner. I just love how it glides on and it's so nice and just perfect. Like I'm not a big fan of liquid liner just because I have a lot of like uh, folds in my eyes and you know, sometimes like a lot doesn't work, but I find NYX this one really works for my eyes. So try it out, see how it works for you. It's always good to lean your arm on something so that it's nice and stable. Okay, so now that that liner is laid down, I'm gonna go do ahead and do my other eye off camera just because. So I finished off the look with some liner and lashes. Um, today's lashes are the Sephora Collection X House of Lashes Collection. Uh, these are a nice pair of wispy lashes. They're really nice and natural, really, really everyday friendly. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. So for lips, I kept it really simple. I applied um, just a dose of colors. Um, liquid lipstick with a little bit of, uh, of a lighter shade in the middle. Nothing too fancy, you can do your any look lip that you want. But so I also did my brows off camera using the Maybelline uh, Tattoo Studio in the shade Black Brown. And the reason I did it off camera is to be honest, my battery, my camera's battery died, so it wasn't on purpose. Um, but I really like how they turned out. They perf it's a perfect shade um, if you have more of a darker hair color like mine or your roots are darker. Um, perfect for most people actually that have black or brown uh, hair. It's a really nice shade. It really blends together with the rest of your face. Um, and the brush is really nice as well. So yeah, that's basically all today's look for affordable makeup. Um, I honestly, I'm in love with my foundation. I can't believe this, like it's, it's, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin and that's 
one thing in terms of reviewing this foundation i'd say both of these work really well together i'm so glad i was able to actually um layer them um, because i was a bit skeptical if it would work and honestly it's the best thing ever so if you guys haven't tried both of these yet i would highly recommend them um I, I haven't had this sort of look in a while. So, you know, I've been going to my everyday and I'm just comparing it to my everyday, you know, Becca foundation that I use on a daily basis or my Fenty Beauty foundation. And I find I'm not getting that, I'm not feeling cakey, as cakey as I do with, with those high-end foundations. So, which is really refreshing because I, you know, these are much more affordable. So I'm really enjoying this combination. I like how my my face is feeling and looking. I just look really, I look really good. I'm sorry, I'm really feeling, I'm feeling my makeup today. I'm also gonna say that using this Sephora um, Super Matte Moisturizer as a primer really has control. I'm, I'm actually quite amazed because I, I've been, I went for lunch while I was filming this video, so I'll be honest, so it's been a couple hours. And I have no sort of oiliness in my forehead, there's no oiliness around my pores. And I just use this and the MAC uh, Fix Plus to prime. I'm usually oily within the first hour of putting on my foundation. By the time I get to work, it's usually, I have to blot. And no matter, I've tried all the primers possible, trust me, all the oil control. and. You know, just I guess it's the combination of foundations I use and everything. I'm using my MAC Fix Plus today and this Sephora um, moisturizer, matting, mattifying moisturizer, is just is has been the trick. Like I can't get over my makeup. I don't know. I'm just like I'm really feeling myself. Okay. In terms of foundation, I'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10. Um, like I said, these are I. I'm pleasantly surprised as to how my skin is feeling. Um, and usually, when they, you think about drugstore foundation, you don't, you know, you think you're not getting the best as uh, high-end foundation. That you know, your skin is going to feel clogged, and your pores are going to feel clogged. And remember, I had a little bit of breakout right here and here, and make it both the Maybelline um, Age Rewind Concealer has covered that well, and I don't feel dryness. Um, and yeah, I'm. Uh, I can get used to this. This is it's nice to have affordable makeup on your face. <laughs> and it's nice for my bank account, so that's awesome. And the Rimmel London um, contour sticks, if you guys haven't tried these, I would highly recommend them. It gave me a nice natural contour. Um, and I'm using today not a lot of artificial lighting. I'm really getting a lot of my um, just natural lighting, so that's why the video is a little bit dark. But you guys could see how much. Um, how how good of a natural contour this was and even just the highlight this is the only highlight i used today on my face um and there was a little bit of highlight in the actual blush i used as well so this was nice to have a duo a duo effect and still look you know dewy and healthy and have a little bit of color so if you guys haven't tried this i would highly recommend this Perfect everyday look. So if you guys, let me know down below in your comments what was your favorite um, product we used today. If there's any products you guys want me to review in my next video, do let me know. Um, any drugstore, high-end, luxury, anything that you would like me to, uh, to review in my next video, just let me know. As always, thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. Really appreciate all the love from my Glow Beauties. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. No, it's been a couple hours now when I apply this is about lunchtime so 12 o'clock um, I do have a workout at 4 p.m. with my sister and uh, my sister-in-law as well so I'll take this through a workout honestly the workouts probably gonna make this like you know go by -bye. but well, I'm interested to see how it how it looks because I know most of my other foundations do separate everywhere like it just it melts off my skin so yeah let's do that and I'll so sorry for the vacuuming in the background, but as promised, I want to show you guys, um, I wanted to do a wear test of this foundation, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte, uh, mixed in with the Maybelline Fit Me. I just did a leg workout, so a 45 minute workout, I burned like 200 calories, my heart rate was really up there, and as you could see, like, 
this I'm so impressed with how my foundation held up like even my my family's were like was like oh my gosh your face looks awesome so everything stayed on pretty nicely obviously you're gonna have like where I sweat a little bit it's breaking up here where I was drinking some water a little bit across my nose but other than yeah right there and I was like scratching and itching my nose anyways but other than that it goes to show you that you could still do you know go to the gym and stuff and still be looking like really nice and um, glowy so I'm actually really impressed for especially if you have like oily skin like I do like my oily skin would have already especially after a workout would have already broken this foundation apart and it hasn't which is awesome I think so especially for like those hot days now that summer's coming I think this would be one of those choices that I'll be using and yeah look at that like so fresh and so clean obviously where my hat you can see that I already rubbed it off but, but slot not really like I'm surprised at how transfer resistant it is for having just worked out um, it really dried down to a powder but it wasn't it was like it was transfer proof I find like versus other foundation that I have so yeah ignore my hair but anyways uh, that's this foundation is definitely a contender if you guys don't own this I would definitely this is definitely a keeper in my vanity for sure Okay, let me park the vehicle. So it is 6.37, so approx like approximately, I want to say six hours that I've had um, this makeup on. This is in daytime light. I want to show you guys what it looks like just, you know, every day outside. Yeah. It looks awesome though. Like I'm just, I'm thoroughly impressed. You guys don't even know. This has outperformed most of my high-end makeup. Like I'm very, very impressed. Anyways. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this wear test video review of everyday affordable makeup. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.